Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss the SQL error handling. What is the error? Error is a condition or event and it occurs during the execution of the programs. And whenever it occurs, the whole execution, the whole program stops or halts. To handle this kind of error handling, the SQL provides the try and catch block. It means if you want to handle the error then we have to write the statement using the try catch block and if you want to create our own message then we can use the throw block as you can see in the syntax we have the begin try and then end try then begin catch and end catch so in begin try we write the normal statements if there is an error in that statement then the, then the execution terminates and jumps to the try catch to handle the error types of SQL server exceptions there are two types system defined and user defined system defines the SQL server has the library of the predefined or system defined errors so SQL server generate those errors and user defined we can create our own exceptions on errors and we can design our own message so we will check those system defined and user defined on the SQL server with practice as I told you to catch the error we use a catch block in the SQL server and we can have the details of the error within the body of the catch block using these system functions. First of all error number. This is the error number of error and this number is defined by the SQL server. Error CVT returns the CVT it means how serious the error is. Then error state again it's a number and defined by the SQL server. Then error procedure name of the procedures to get the name of the procedure error line at which line the error occurred then error message the message generated by the SQL server one thing is very important all these system functions are valid within the body of the catch block if you use these system function outside of the body of the catch block then you get the null you can see this line now we talk about the system defined errors these errors are generated by the system itself we have a program in this program we have two variables value 1 value 2 and then we have begin try and end try so within the body of this begin try and try we write the statements and if error occurs within the body at any line then it jumps direct to the begin catch and catch so this catch block means for the catching the error here we are printing the details of the error as I told you as we discussed this error message error line error number these are the system defined function and these function are valid only within the body of the begin catch and try catch if you use outside of this body then all functions will return the null now if I execute this program we start with the begin try then we have the first value variable then uh, we assign the 8 and then we are dividing this variable by the 0 and according to mathematical calculation we cannot divide any value by the 0 so this is the same thing here then we get the error the system will generate the error on this line and then it skips all these four lines and jump direct to the catch block so if I execute this program then it says inside the catch block it means this line number one is fine and line number two we have the error then direct jump to the catch block in catch block we have the details of the error say error message divide by zero error encountered error line number then error number and error severity error state and error procedure because we are not using any procedure that's that's why there is no procedure name so if I change the like sequence of this line say and I put here then what will happen it means this line is fine this is okay this is okay it means now we have the error on this line so these two lines 
will be executing after this one the errors occurs here and then skips these two lines so execute line 1 and line 2 executed successfully after this error then jump to the catch block we can check the functionality of the try catch block in SQL server with this diagram so we have a begin try block and we have three statements and we have the error on the line number two so if there is an error then it skips line number three and jump direct to the begin catch block then we have the another statements in the begin catch block if there is no error then it will skip the begin catch and block and goes to the next statement of the catch block Now suppose if I change the value so right now it is 0 divided by 0 if I make 2 it means this is the valid statement according to mathematics so there is no error in this program so print 1 2 3 4 and this block is skipped if I execute this one then so we have 4 line for this is try capers and and the catch block is skipped now we talk about the user defined errors so far we discussed the system defined errors now how to create the our own custom errors for that purpose we use the throw and this throw we have three parameters error number error message error severity the error number should be between from 50,000 to this number this is the range for defining the error number because this is the minimum number for the custom errors and below 50,000 others numbers are reserved for the SQL server then error message it's a custom message it could be any message then error severity then error severity and you can see I've taken fewer few like the 13 transaction deadlock errors 14 security related errors 15 syntax error and 16 general errors these are from the SQL server now I have a program program means variable is is and initialize with the 60 so my condition is if is is greater than 60 then it should it should not be accepted and control should go to the catch statement the initial value is the 60 line number one print line number two then we have the condition if is greater than 40 then throw throw means we are throwing the error explicitly we are deciding at which line we will throw the error in case of this system defined function only the system decides here we are deciding in throw we have the three parameters the error number then the message is is greater than 40 then we have the safety number then line number three line number four and finally we have the catch block so value is 60 if I execute this program now here the condition is true so it goes to the this statement catch block line number one to print then inside the error message is is greater than 40 we defined then line number 23 and error number 50,000 we defined CVT that is a 60 suppose if I make it 30 then no error this condition now is false so this line this line this line so catch block is skipped so this is how you can create your own message your own error error can using the throw statement can throw the error custom error we can also use the raise error command for throwing the error explicitly the difference between the raise error and the throw is throw is used within the try catch and raise error you can use without without the try catch generally it is used when some application some application written in language some language is calling the procedure and that application is expecting some return value from the procedures some let's say validation error anything then you can then you can use the raise error without try catch this is the only difference between the throw and raise error here I am using this raise error within the try catch if I execute this one 
so I get the same result. So guys, this was all about the SQL error handling. I hope you understood everything. Thanks for watching the video.